Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, we have a bit of a different setup today. I'm in the middle of testing out some setups for the course that I'll be launching for cover design in the new year. And so I have this thing here, which is a super professional microphone um, that was gifted to me by my fiance who's amazing and had like all this recording equipment. So I'm super excited um, about using it. Hopefully it will help with like sound and stuff. Um, I'm also in a different part of the house, um, a little bit more minimal, which I like. Um, still working on kind of lighting the background, but I figured um, it should be good. You can see me and that's the important part, I guess, for this particular video. Um, so if you don't know who I am, my name is Anessa and I'm an indie author from Toronto, Canada. I publish under the pen name A and Sage and I write in YA genres, mostly fantasy, sci-fi and a lot of different like magical realism and paranormal types of stories. Um, I currently, up to date, have 13 books published. I have another one that I am currently querying um, through the traditional route. Um, and if that doesn't work out, I will be self-publishing that as well. And I'm in the middle of writing my seventh book in the Shadowhurst mystery series, which is one of my biggest selling series to date. So that's about me. Um, you're probably wondering what the topic for today's video is about, as I'm sure you saw in the title. We are talking about some mobile applications that you can use as a writer that are very useful to have on your cell phone. Um, some of these, I will preface this, not all of these are free. Some are free, some are not. Um, some are free, but I have purchased certain add-ons to make them work for me. Um, and so I will explain all of that. I'll be actually recording my phone screen as I show you these apps. You can see kind of the layout and what they look like. Um, but the four main apps that I use on my phone and I use them all the time. I absolutely love them and they're super helpful for me um, in the writing process. And those are WordKeeper, which is um, kind of like a tracking app, um, a project tracking app specifically for writing. It's absolutely amazing. It is a paid app, but I love it. It's really good. Like if you need that kind of like personal accountability and just to keep track of your writing sprints and how your projects are doing. Um, I'm also going to be talking about Lightroom Mobile, which is an image editing software. It is the mobile version of Adobe Lightroom. Um, if you're a photographer or you dabble in any kind of image creation photography, you would already be familiar with this program. Um, it helps you edit your images, um, take them from that kind of like flat image that sometimes you get um, into something more dynamic, more interesting. And I use Lightroom Mobile to help me make all of my images on my social media have a consistent look that matches my branding. I'll show you that as well. Um, another one I will be showing you today is Motion Leap. Um, I use this quite um, a lot. Um, I, it's not one of those apps I use every day, but I use it a lot for stories, for promos, for ads, things like that. And this is an app that lets you take any image and turn it into like a short, um, a short kind of um, gift type image where you would have some motion, some effects and things like that added to it. So we'll be going on that one. And the last app that I will show you is Voice Dream. And I adore this app. This app makes my editing experience so much better, um, so much more fluid, um, and it helps me catch so many mistakes. And it's just a wonderful app. Uh, Voice Dream is a uh, text to speech app. Um, and so you can actually upload your manuscript into the app. And then uh, different voices, different AI actor type voices that you can pick. Um, some are free, some are paid um, that read your manuscript back to you. So you can kind of hear almost like a uh, janky kind of audiobook version. Um, I say janky because it's not, it's AI. It's not an actor or a person reading it. So there are some hiccups, but it's incredibly useful to have this kind of added level of editing on a different format. Um, if you're not part of my newsletter, I sent out a newsletter this morning. I sent one out once a month. 
And I talked about my editing process and my editing process uh, works in a few different ways where I first have paper edits that I kind of read. I print everything out on paper. Um, I go to Staples, have them bind it, print everything out, do paper edits. Then I upload things into an ebook. So like a, in my Kindle and I read through on the Kindle. And then the other step of editing for me is voice to voice dream. Um, so the text to speech. Um, and I listen to the book as well. There's a lot of editing steps in between, uh, but that's kind of the different formats that I edit on that help me get a sense of the book from every perspective. Um, and I find that Voice Dream is a great app to use for this. So um, it, without any more blabbing, I'm going to go ahead and take you through these apps on my phone and talk you through some of their features so you can see if any of these are right for you. So this is the first one, it's WordKeeper, and this is the one that keeps all your projects. So as you can see, I have a few active projects in there. Let's just take a look at one of them. This is the working title, Cherry Cove, and you can see that there's a few different sections where you can update your progress. You have a daily progress, a total progress, um, your average time, the sessions on which you're working. Um, it tells you how many words you have on average. So if you go into your daily progress, you can see that as you're starting to kind of work, um, it will tell you what all your sections are. So it will kind of track your sprints and give you this little graph to show you how you've been working, how long you've been working, the time you've spent per day, per week, per month, etc., and the different phases you spent it on. It's got editing phases, research phases, drafting, um, etc. Um, and so if you're looking at your average words, you can see here what they will tell you what your highest, what your average is per sprint, which is really nice to see. And the same in your face section, you can see here, I spent most of my time drafting. Um, so that is just the main kind of breakdown of what the actual little project section looks like. And now if you are going to be updating your sprints, you click on the timer. Um, and this little kind of regular time will pop up and you click start on the little play button and it'll start recording as you're typing. And when you're done, all you do is click stop and then it will take you back to this screen here and you would go into your section and you record how many words you written for that section and click save. And it will update this whole project setting right after you did that. So a great little tool to have for drafting. Then the next one is a Lightroom Mobile, like I discussed in the intro, um, and this is a great photo editing tool. So you could go in and you can add your photos from your camera roll. So let's pretend that we're going to add this little water bottle picture and we're going to edit it. And there's all these different ways you can edit. You can um, crop the picture. So if you're doing it for Instagram, let's say, um, you can do this like square format, crop it right away, um, and it will do it right there on your phone. Um, and then you can click the auto and it will just do like a nice little um, adjustment for you. But I like to do it manually so you can go and play with your lighting, your exposure, your contrast, your highlights, your shadows, all your whites and your bla blacks, the same way that you would do it in a regular Lightroom or in Photoshop just directly on your phone. So you can see how the picture changes as I go through it. You can also change your colors. You can grade your color. So make it more blue, more yellow, more pink, more red, more green, whatever you prefer, and change the uh, tint, the vibrance of it, and the saturation of the image. Then you can also change the texture. There's a clarity, dehazing. These are things that like as you start playing around with it, you can see what works best for you. You can add a vignette around and kind of like make it brighter on the edges or darker to make it more moody and dramatic. And then there's the detail section, which is really nice as well, where you can bring up your sharpening. You can make it less sharp, more sharp. You can bring up your detail in the images so to really make that picture pop. Um, also take away some of that noise reduction you sometimes get when there's low lighting. So this is great. Um, I don't use any of these different op like optics and geometry. These are like the paid uh, versions, but I, what I do use a lot are these presets. These are fantastic. So what I did was I ended up getting some presets that I bought on Etsy and they sell a lot of different ones. And as you can see, I already programmed it in. So all I have to do is click on that preset and it will load my pictures the same every single time. And then I just click export to camera 
and that's done. So now we're going to talk about motion leap. And this is that image to video GIF, um, t I'm sorry, app that I told you about. Um, and this one is really great. So again, you go in, you have different projects you can create, or you can start a new project and import a picture from your phone. So let's say we are doing this little shadow hearst. Um, cover of mine um, and so I loaded in the picture and now we're going to animate and I'm going to select the section that I want to have the motion on um, and I'm just selecting her hair because I wanted to blow in the wind and you're selecting the direction in which you want it to move so as you can see as I put in the arrows the direction of her hair moving changes so when you're done with that you can actually add different elements so let's say we want to add some of these flying bats around to make it super spooky um, you can make the element bigger smaller and position it anywhere you want on the screen and just kind of figure out where you wanted to lay it took me a second to kind of find a good spot for them but i went to it just above her hair on the moon there for that one then the other thing you can actually add here um, is you can uh, change the opacity of these things, but you can add more than one. There's a few paid ones, a few free ones, but I actually added just another free one, this little starburst kind of galaxy into that magic global on her hand. Um, and the next one is you also have overlays um, and there's a few of these and these are really fun. So as you can see, I'm just toggling through them just to show you some of them. There's light effects, there's rain, snow, butterflies, um, embers of fire, uh, pretty much like anything that you might want to play with. And these are great just to add like a general overall mood to the picture. Like that fog one is really cool as well. Um, I went with just that fire ember one just to bring some warmth because everything is very blue in this cover. And I lowered the opacity of that effect on uh, the overlay. Um, so there's different things you can also add. There's music that you can add. These are paid ones. Um, some of these you might have seen in certain ads where it kind of breaks your picture apart into different things. Um, there's one that kind of adds a sparkle. I really like that one. I used a lot. I love sparkle, 100% opacity. You know, I love me some sparkle. Um, and you can play around with just like the way that the sky could look. So if you have a really sky focused picture, this is a cool one to use to change the color of that sky. I don't have any in this particular image, so obviously I did not use that. And then you just click export, you set your duration um, to what you want it to, click export, and it will save directly to your phone. So our last one is Voice Dream. Um, this is the one that I said that kind of is text to speech, and this is a great one. So again, you upload your file um, from your computer or your phone. So you would have your manuscript, a Word doc, so you can upload directly from a Google Drive to here. Um, and once that's in there, there are all these different voices you can use. So if you want like Karen reading your manuscript, you can have a Karen read your manuscript to you. But some of these are free, some are paid, and you can actually shop for more voices. Um, I usually just use the free ones because I just want to hear how the sentences flow together really. So I already have Cortega open, so let's open that up. And as you can see, I can show you some of the different sections on the screen you can use. Um, you would see your Word doc directly in there. Um, you can select uh, the speech rate. So if you want it slower or faster, you select your voice. So let's go with Martha for this. I just randomly chose that one. Um, your language um, and there's also advanced audio settings um, where you could have like extra sentence pauses which I usually add so it doesn't rush through it and all these other different settings. Um, then you can also have your visual settings and that will just kind of show you the color settings of the screen so as you're highlighting you can change like the colors of your highlights, the colors of your text etc just to really customize it so I'm just kind of showing you over here where I'm changing some of these colors to fit what I liked at the particular moment where I was playing around with this and recording my screen for you guys. Um, so yeah, you can really customize this to kind of look the way you want it to look. There's light, dark, and custom versions. Um, so you can actually make your own preset for the colors you prefer um, as you're working on it, which is really great because as the voice dream is reading it out to you, you can make notes directly on your manuscript and then export it back to yourself, which is really, really fantastic because then you don't have to like take notes as you're reading, um, which I do anyways because I'm an overachiever and I take 
take notes um, on my little planner and my notebooks because you know I love paper notebooks. And then the other thing you can actually um, change here is the reading mode. So you can stop at the end of the mouse, stop at the end of the sentence, keep going to next document, um, or just repeat it on a loop if you have a short document, which is really good. You can also set a timer for how long you want to read. So let's say if you really want to read for only like half an hour and that's all you have for edits, just set a timer and it will stop after 30 minutes. Um, I barely use that, but it's just a nice feature to have. Um, and now I'm just going to like quickly do a little robotic um, sound so you can hear so what Barris, the sounds Kartiga, like. One of the warriors yelled out, how will I feed Kartiga? She repeated for everyone in the room that couldn't understand. I won't. I have no intention on growing my magic. I just want everyone to be able to live however they choose. You can choose what you do and you can do it on your own terms without someone telling you otherwise. So what did you think of the apps? Um, these work really well for me. I understand they might not work for everyone. Not everybody likes using their phone for things, but for me, they are a huge help and I absolutely love using them. Um, and they've made my life so much easier as an author. Um, I hope that um, this was helpful to you. If you're looking for some extra apps to put on your phone, I know we all have probably a million as you saw on my screen, um, but uh, these are incredible. Um, in my opinion, of course, um, this video is not sponsored by any of these apps. I wish it would be, but it wasn't. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, different apps that I absolutely love. So I hope you found it useful. Um, I'm currently, just to give you guys like another very short update, I'm currently working on some kind of resource library for um, everyone on this channel. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how we separate things out because I do a lot of different videos about different things. So I want to make sure uh, maybe we'll have like a section with different folders there. I don't know if I'll put it on my website. Um, I'm still kind of working through it. So bear with me, but I will have some good resources for you guys to download, um, sites to check out um, some of the things I regularly recommend, things I use and things like that. So I'm just working on compiling it all together. It's a bit of a process. It takes some time. I'm only one person, uh, but it is coming, I promise. And I will keep you posted on what that will be up. Um, and as always, if you enjoy my videos, um, tell people about them and make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more videos from me. Thank you so much for sticking around for this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below and stay magical. And I'll talk to you all next week. Bye.